Hey, MartinMorrisToadyBook.com. For you guys who have liked taking these exams, I'm glad you guys have watched one of my videos. I told you, it took me five years to pass my civil engineering exam. I passed it in February 2000. I got laid off from my first job February, no, June, July of 1995, just before I got the cutoff information to um, get the exam. Because I mean, you guys know the professional engineering exam, that was half the battle, getting people to give you a recommendation when you're about to get laid off and people are calling you short timer and not talking to you. That was a challenge in itself. Then after that, you get laid off and then you got to say, oh, it's easy. People tell you about all the different tricks for passing and stuff. You'll pass it easy. You'll pass it easy. The only thing I passed was the take home exception of that exam. It's a take home section. It's an eight hour silver exam. Two hour, two hour survey, two hour seismic. So it's like four parts basically to pass. Three ones take home, so God, I had to pass that. The other ones, so they get they take they get the ass on that man. You gotta figure out what's the question flavor of the month, if you know what I mean. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Mark Morris to the I mean, I had remember girlfriends arguing at me every time I failed the test. I gotta listen to her give me a bitching at me about failing the test. You're like. I'm trying to get ahead for us, baby. Just get married and have kids, possibly, but could you give me a little support, man? Surprise, surprise. Then I'm paying all the money for the exam, $275. Then I'm paying probably an extra $300 or $400 every two or three months. So I know how it is to just take an exam, go in. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. It's like my interviews for promotion, lady. I'm ready, man. I'm, I, I know the flavor of the month, man, the questions. Re nice. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Mark Morris, totalreadwork.com. Building a $15 million business to $150 million. I'll tell you about some other stuff later. So five years of all, oh God, is that right? Someone do the math for me. It may be more, God, for four and a half years or something. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Three things I did, though, and I'll just tell you one. One, don't listen. To, here's one I'll give you today. Do not listen to other people's strategies on how to take the test, man. Some take books, some don't take books, some go get drunk, some go have sex, some go do all, go to chill a potty, some go to, well, I went down to, uh, finally passed my civil, my, the civil, the survey civil engineer going down to a, oh, it doesn't even, Chafee College or something, it doesn't even exist anymore because of COVID, it went out of business. One thing, do not listen to other people's comments. Number two, you got to lock yourself away. And number three, make sure you always sign up for the next exam. I'm talking to you quickly about number three. That's the hardest part, man, signing up for the next exam after you got your ass kicked. And then like people ask you, did you pass your exam, Martin? Did you pass your exam, Martin? No. Oh, that dumb black man, poor guy. You're not going to get the 10% work. Not only can't you get the promotion, where well, you, you get... You get all kind of drama. You can't even get to the next level of the raise or the, to qualify to go into the promotion. So, oh, just think about going that, going through that for several years, a pain in the uh, 275, 275, 275. I think it was a 270, 275. And then I used to go out to uh, Sacramento. Is it the Fair Place? The, um, some guy put down, put down in the information. Subscribe, subscribe. Ah, oh, somewhere in Sacramento. Arco, or like they used to go take the exam. Now it's all computer. In the old days, you used to be able to take books, books, books. <laughs> oh, man. And on top of it, my writing's horrible. Just, just no mercy, man. Five years of trying to pass that stupid exam. Every time, put money into the exam. Once you pay for the exam again, you'll go pay for the review course. Because what's the use of having a review course if you don't pay for the exam? So you've got to do one or the other. So that's my trick for today. I used to work at Target part-time. I worked at Macy's part-time. I gave up drinking at Red Jack Saloon for a while. I got rid of my girlfriend just to get a little bit of extra money to apply for the next exam. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So here I am, 56, got my engineering exam. Like wondering, should I promote or not promote? I'm looking at all kind of stuff. But you got to put yourself in that position to say no anyway. So subscribe, subscribe. But don't give up, man. I know how it is. <laughs> it was like I used to sit in my, lived at Sycamore Lane or somewhere out in Daly City, have my apartment, windows closed, doing my che my cheer diagrams. Uh, what is it? Um, hydraulics, electronic thing, electric electricity. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh. 
It was so bad, I failed so many times, I went back and got an MBA because I thought I would never pass my engineering exam. Just as I was finishing my first year of MBA school, I got I passed the engineering exam. <laughs> now I was stuck for $92,000 for an MBA. They got it. They got me coming and going, coming and going. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But I was happy to pass, I think. Thank God. Before my mom died and grandmother died. Are you going to pass, bro? Are you going to pass? And you see Davis? What are you doing? Oh, God. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So we'll talk about the other two later. But the number one I want to make, make sure you do, once you know you failed, go sign up for the next exam. Maybe if you know you, you just go sign up for the next exam. And if you think you feel really good about passing it, go sign up for the next exam. Most likely you feel like me. I got this one. I got it. I got it. Shit, that's like 40 or 50 points away. I'm like, oh, my God. Just take it to me, man. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Melina, what you think, man? I'm going to help you guys get through these exams. Give you some quick stories, make you laugh, make you cry, because I know the pain. You just want to just give up and quit. I'll talk about that later on my videos. But when it comes to this exam, this is something you control. Other other stuff, who knows? But that exam, you control. I want to make sure you pass it. Give your best effort, because you will pass. If you keep taking that exam, you will pass. They'll get so sick of seeing your name on that little registration thing, they'll pass you through. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you failed the exam, it's just the beginning. Do not quit.